to say. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm going to uh, talk about an algorithm to improve uh, visibility in uh, foggy images, because we've uh, uh, other colleagues, uh, in especially uh, Nicolas Autier and uh, Aurélien Cord, uh, we think that uh, there, uh, to improve the visibility uh, in uh, foggy ima images is uh, important for uh, ve intelligent vehicle uh, vehicles. So what is the effect of uh, fog in an image? There is uh, two effects. The first one is a decay of the uh, object luminance as a function of uh, distance. So this uh, decay is also a function of k. k is, the, uh, is defined as the extinction coefficient. So this is the first effect. There is a second effect, which is uh, the addition of what we call the uh, atmospheric veil, uh, which is also uh, uh, a function of uh, distance, the distance between the camera and the uh, scene object. So this uh, is, uh, I mean, there's two effects are summarized in uh, the Koschmider law, which gives um, the relation between what is observed, so the luminance, uh, the observed luminance, L, the uh, luminance of the uh, object, the true luminance, and the uh, distance and the uh, extinction uh, parameter, k. There is an extra parameter, which is ls, which is the color of the sky. So what we want to do is, given an image, we want to uh, re remove as much as possible the fog. So we know the image, we know L, but we don't know the distance at every pixel. We don't know the, uh, the L0, uh, L0, so it's in fact what we want to obtain. It's, it will be, uh, if we are able to estimate it, it will be the restored image. And we don't know the K, and we don't know the LS. So as you can see it, it's an inverse problem with an infinite number of solutions. So we have to do something to solve this problem. We have to do regularization. So if we, if we um, uh, look at what was done previously, so uh, the first work on um, visibility restoration was uh, done by uh, Narashiyam and uh, Nayar in a very interesting uh, paper uh, in uh, 2003. But they were using two images, one image, uh, two images with different uh, fogs. And there were also um, other solutions proposed with uh, polarized images, so you still have several images. And also, it was also uh, proposed to use uh, an accurate or an approximate 3D model. But as you can guess, I mean, these techniques are difficult to apply in the case of uh, a moving camera as we have in uh, intelligent vehicles. Uh, problems. So in uh, the last few years, uh, it was proposed uh, very interesting techniques uh, the first one was uh, proposed by uh, Fatal in a SIGGRAPH paper where he was able from only one image using the color to uh, uh, remove uh, the fog in the image. And then uh, Tan proposed, but it was, I mean, this technique was working only for uh, color images. So it was proposed then by uh, Tan uh, to use a spatial regularization to remove the fog, and then this, techniques, uh, this technique uh, works with color and gray level uh, images uh, as well. And, uh, but these techniques were, were, uh, are relatively uh, time-consuming, 
So we proposed um, a, a different technique. Last year in uh, ICCV, we called uh, no black pixel uh, constraint. And with this technique, we are able to achieve uh, uh, close to real time uh, uh, processing. So uh, we are going uh, to assume that the camera response is linear. So when we are going to switch from luminance to directly intensities, uh, so uh, I uh, wrote everything with uh, eyes. So from uh, the cauchy middle law, we are going to do a little rewriting of, uh, of this equation by introducing the at atmospheric veil V, and by just uh, rewriting everything as a function of V, we will obtain this equation. So we have one parameter less, the K does not appear anymore in this equation. But, uh, and from this equation, if we know, uh, so we know the i, it's the original image, and if we know uh, is, the color of the sky, and v, then we will be able to inverse this equation and to compute i0, it is the restored image and we will call it R. But how to, uh, to uh, estimate I, S, and V? For I, S is uh, quite uh, easy, uh, because in fact it corresponds to the color of a, of a sky. So it's a kind of white balance. So we can do it simply by uh, searching for uh, uh, the pixel with the highest uh, intensity in the image, and do a little averaging, and then we will uh, obtain the uh, IS. So we can now assume that after this uh, white balance, uh, the uh, IS will be uh, 1. So it simplifies a little the equation. But this equation is still, um, I mean, we still have uh, an infinite uh, number of uh, solutions since we don't know the V. So what are the constraints on the V? The first constraint, which was introduced uh, by Tan, uh, is that uh, since the V is the atmospheric veil, so it's, uh, it's white, so the V must not be, at every pixel, it must not be uh, higher than uh, the, uh, minimum, the uh, minimum over the color components. So this is the first constraint. There is another constraint, so the one we introduced in uh, ICCV uh, paper, is that on the uh, restored image, we don't want a lot of black pixels. So how we, um, we, we uh, put, uh, we set that? Uh, by enforcing that the standard deviation of a restored image is uh, lower than uh, its average. So if it's the case, then you will have a reduced number of, uh, black, of negative uh, uh, pixels, so uh, a reduced number of black pixels. But the problem is that this uh, last constraint is expressed as a function of the uh, result of what you search for. So this is a problem. So to transform this uh, constraint in an easier to handle uh, constraint, we are going to use the uh, spatial local coherence. So just by assuming that locally, the uh, local veil, the uh, atmospheric veil is constant. So we can take the average of the, of, uh, of the equation I show you uh, in the previous slide, and we will obtain this uh, equation. We can do this also for the standard deviation, and we will have this equation. And now we have the expression of the average of uh, R and the standard deviation of R, so we can substitute in the constraint, and we will derive easily a constraint on the V 
which is a function of uh, the original image only. So this is the one in red. So we will call it this uh, constraint the non-black pixel constraint. So the algorithm is the following. We start from uh, an image I. We uh, compute for every pixel the minimum over the color components. It gives us the W. And then from this W, we will do uh, some uh, filtering to compute. Uh, so the W is the first bound. And from the, this bound, we will uh, do a median filtering to compute the, the uh, average, the, the average over uh, uh, I. Uh, so we use a median filter because, uh, I mean, our assumption about local consistency is not always completely true. So we will have some robustness with using the median. And then we also compute the standard deviation, always using a median uh, filter. And we, uh, com we deduce from these uh, two computations the uh, second uh, bound, which is given by uh, B. And when we have these two bounds on, uh, on the V, uh, the algorithm is just to say that the, uh, uh, the chosen atmospheric V V will be a percentage of the minimum bound, uh, the two mi the two, uh, of the minimum over the two uh, bounds, uh, W and uh, B. And uh, sometimes it happens that um, this, uh, uh, this V uh, uh, becomes negative, so we, we are not interested, and it's not possible to have a negative uh, V, so we do a, a little threshold uh, to remove uh, everything which is negative. So just to have a feeling about the parameters, there are two parameters, the P, so it's the percentage. So the P is just um, the, restoration, the restoration percentage, it gives, it gives the strength of the uh, restoration, as you can see on the on these uh, images, higher is the p, higher is the restoration. And the uh, SV, SV is the size of the uh, filtering. So if we uh, use a, sl a smaller as a small a smaller SV, you can see that the landmarkings in the bottom of the of the bottom image. Uh, be becomes um, uh, darker. So in fact, SV can be interpreted as the maximum size assumed for uh, white objects. So after this, uh, this algorithm, uh, we have to uh, add an extra step to restore original intensity uh, in uh, in the obtain uh, in the restored uh, image, uh, so the idea is uh, it's not very complicated. The main idea is to have in the lower part of the uh, original and of the restored image to have similar averages and similar uh, standard deviation. So I will not detail that too much. Just to show you a few uh, results on. Um, on uh, images, on color images. So uh, we were able on these images to have uh, result of, results of uh, different uh, techniques. So on the first image, on the first column, it's the original image, images. On the second one, it's, uh, a, tech, it's a restoration uh, technique based on uh, a 3D model. So it can be used as a kind of uh, reference. Uh, the third is the fatal uh, techniques based on color. Then uh, you have uh, tan and also uh, hair result. Uh, it was published. In publi um, it was a paper in uh, CVPR uh, 2009, and the re result we obtained in uh, in the last column. So, on uh, images we are interested in. Here it's a comparison. 
so it's uh, in this case it's uh, black uh, it's gray level uh, images and uh, so you can see that uh, the obtained results are uh, less darker than uh, with uh, other techniques but uh, you can notice that the texture of the road is uh, too much contrasted with, uh, with respect to the, I mean, if you compare with, uh, with the reality. So it means that this algorithm, when it is applied to uh, road images, it can be uh, improved. So the idea is just to take into account that what we look at is and is a road image. So we have to take into account the fact that uh, the road is, um, is at a certain position. So how we do that? We just add in the algorithm a third constraint. It's this one. Because since you know approximately where is the road, you can uh, deduce that the atmospheric view cannot be uh, uh, higher than the value uh, uh, written uh, uh, here, where uh, we assume that uh, uh, the fog is uh, a very, very uh, strong uh, fog with a visibility distance of uh, 50 uh, meters. So from this, this uh, third uh, constraint, we can uh, update the uh, algorithm just by adding the computation of the third, uh, con uh, third bound. And uh, so here, the, the D road is the distance between the uh, camera and the, the road, assuming a planar road. And then, it's always the, the same, uh, the same uh, approach. We just take a percentage of the minimum over the free bounds now. So the problem is that uh, it's, uh, I mean, we, we add is that uh, it's difficult, it's difficult to uh, evaluate there's uh, there's algorithm because it's difficult to have images with and without fog with the same uh, lightning uh, condition. So we uh, build a synthetic database. So in the first column is the original uh, uh, image, then it's the depth map, and we added synthetic uh, fog, so uniform or uh, non-uniform uh, fogs. So this database will be soon uh, av available at the following uh, uh, web address. And from this database, we are able to do a comparison between uh, different kind of uh, algorithms. So here is just images to have a look on uh, the, the obtained result. And you, you can see uh, easily the uh, advantage of using uh, the, um, the third constraint compare, not using it. Uh, visually. So this is confirmed on uh, this uh, comparison, uh, on this comparison. So the comparison just consists in uh, comparing the, the relative difference between the restored image and the original image without uh, fog. And you can see that uh, uh, by adding uh, the uh, third constraint, we are able to improve a lot of the results. So I mean, this kind of comparison is very useful for us because it allows us also to compare with other algorithms like the uh, uh, free space segmentation algorithm uh, we, uh, we developed and to see what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, each uh, algorithm. So as a conclusion, we proposed um, uh, an algorithm which, uh, which is uh, for, for doing the visibility restoration uh, this algorithm is a local algorithm, so it means that it's able to work with uniform uh, fog, but also with a non-uniform uh, fog, as shown by uh, previous uh, results. And it works uh, with gray level as well as uh, with uh, color images. And its speed is not 
too uh, too slow. It is able to uh, to to process 10 or 15 frames per second at a video over two formats. And it is dedicated to uh, road images. So as a perspective, there is a direct uh, perspective. Uh, is, is to substitute to uh, K uh, max in the third constraint uh, uh, an extension coefficient with, uh, estimated by a detection algorithm uh, in uh, every image. And it's probably uh, it will uh, improve uh, the result. I mean, there are uh, other um, uh, possible uh, improvements too. Thank you. Thank <clears throat> you.